Hello, so why should you take timber engineering classes? Let me tell you. Over the past 35 years as a practicing civil engineer, I have gained tremendous appreciation for natural beauty of wood structure. Timber structures are beautiful, and their ability to provide a sustainable alternative to steel, concrete, and other material is really great. Timber sustainability reduces greenhouse gases, lower pollution, and also lower cost associated in building construction. And above all, timber structure can create more physically, psychologically, and pleasing to the eye healthy environment. One of the thing is public realizing this also. They like wood structure. They realize when you go in a building and it's all wood structure, it's so relaxing. And that's catching up. Because of sustainability, because of the mass timber, tall building construction making a big comeback in North America. There was a study done in Canada and, uh, and Australia about human automatically they're relaxed when they are in a natural environment or an environment that is made of natural material like wood. And these are proven. And when you think about this, there are more buildings, like what we see on uh, screen here. This is an 18-story building in uh, uh, Norway, and more buildings like this popping up all over the place. More construction, more structure. You as an engineer, architect, and construction manager, you want to be ahead of the game. You want to know about timber structure. And really, all it does, it makes you better, more knowledgeable. So if you have an opportunity to take timber classes anywhere, make sure you do it. It will only make you better. Here at Bournemouth Institute of Technology, we are offering two classes. One is going to be this summer. It's for basically for undergraduate, and that's a timber construction. And that has about four hours lab with it. In a lab, we're going to use uh, Autodesk Rivet, and you will be able to design your own dream timber house in the first part of the semester. And the second part, we're going to get into a commercial design. And the topic we're going to cover in this class, as you can see, it's going to be on the screen right there. It's going to be uh, a following, but not, uh, but not limited to the following, is wood property, building codes and design criteria, design loads, advanced timber technology, timber beams, and columns, and uh, mass timber could be uh, uh, glue laminated and... Um, and uh, heavy timber decking, connection in timber structure, and doll type fastener. And the second class we're going to offer, it's going to be in fall. It's going to be a hybrid class. That means we have one week in class, one week online, and possibly have the, uh, also another online class, all 100% online class. And these classes are for graduate classes and made for working professional who wants to improve their uh, knowledge in timber engineering and prepare for the uh, PE or SC exam. The type of material we're going to cover, uh, it's going to be all professional that you see in that something like in a PE or SC exam. The material we're going to cover is going to be uh, the following. Let me put it on the board here. It's going to be introduction to uh, introduction to lumber, both AST and RFRD, wood building and design criteria, design load, vertical and lateral load, and we're really going to dive in heavily into the code book, because everything is going to be based on a code book, and behavior of the wood structure under load and forces, property of wood and lumber grade, design code and specification, structural glue laminated uh, timber, laminated veneer lumber, LVL and uh, nail laminated lumber, NLT, and uh, doll laminated lumber, and also uh, uh, the hottest uh, item that's out there, which is a uh, cross laminated uh, lumber, CLT. Then we're going to get into the design of beam and design of the uh, column and uh, the wood structure panel and uh, the wood structure panel. And we're also going to get into a design of uh, 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 diaphragm and shear wall. Then we're going to get into wood connection. We will touch a little bit about the timber bridging, which is my favorite. 
and then we will talk about a uh, lot of force uh, design which we earthquake and wind and get into fire safety this will be a good class and uh, we'll enjoy it taking these classes will only make you more knowledgeable about timber structure even small stuff like what you see this uh, uh, picture behind me this was the addition I put on my house I did it all myself and I enjoyed it you get comfortable with stuff like that and if you really enjoy timber structure like I do and you're not about them here are a few organization they have done a great job with their website and you really cannot go wrong going here looking around get more information out of them I'm gonna go through them not in just in a random order and one of them is the uh, um, uh, American Wood Council they done an excellent job We you a lot of good technical information as an engineer you can find on this website and you walk through it and uh, you will not be uh, disappointed the second one I like is also is uh, uh, Thinkwood and they had done a great great job on their uh, uh, mass timber and actually they have the uh, specification and code for a CLD product and they have a lot of good educational stuff here they done an excellent job on their uh, uh, website and this is a good place to go and now uh, uh, here's one of my favorite which i love this one is the uh, uh if you want to become a member of any club and this is the one you want to be a uh, is timber framer girl and um, they have a lot of good useful information and they put out a monthly newsletter and uh, it's it's you will enjoy this and finally uh if you want to know what's going on outside of the united states this is a great place to be structural timber it's in Europe and they have a good magazine. You can go through it and see what other people are doing. If you want to get a hold of me, there's my information right here. And I hope to hear from you. Thank you.